All right, I am back, and I'm back with the winner of the last race, Dig Shake, and Buzz Thunder is AFK getting some food. How are you doing, Dig? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Larry? I'm doing well. Uh, you had a chance to uh, to wave the terrible towel and then come back and join us? That game hasn't even started yet. The series game starts in an hour. I think the Bills and the uh, Raiders are at 4 o'clock as well. Oh, okay. We're discussing family, uh, fantasy football, food, and um, and possible trolley situations. You know, I love my trolley situations. Yeah. I think it, it has seems to to be a fan favorite. The trolley situation. I think it has to begin now. It has to begin or or end with the jump list. And then, by the way, I saw you do that, and I didn't bring that up in the uh, the post. I saw you do the jump list over the Canadian oh, yeah? hole. Did yeah. You, did you see that? Yeah, but you had the easy tile set. You had the That's big true. tiles. That's true. I had the big tiles. Do with the with the motion sickness smaller tiles, <laughs> and see how that goes for you. But seven seven magic containers for the glove. I have seven magic containers for a glove. Could be very hard. Yeah, especially if the containers are in like Palace Five, under the rock in Death Mountain. So correct me if I'm wrong, and this is where I'm trying to uh, be more educated about how the rules of the seed if seven magic tape containers are required to get the glove a magic container cannot be in both three and six right uh that's correct yeah okay could it be in one or the other and the other seven are available or there, yeah that's right okay. there, there could be one buried in three or six and then you'd have to get all of the remaining ones. okay so that seems like like seven magic containers where one is virtually inaccessible yeah. Uh, seems like it could be the start or the end of a, a very long string of uh, puzzle solving, we'll call it, not trolliness, puzzle solving, uh, that could one make could, these things fun to watch. One could be boot blocked, one could be hammer blocked, and one could be buried at five. That would be pretty pretty awful. With the boot being in Death Mountain or Spectacle Rock, that you, you know, you need the hammer. Yeah. And then the other one being in, uh, well, one of them is the hammer. The hammer is in uh, Spelltown. Which you need to the trophy for, which is also in Death Mountain. Like it could be, it could be crazy if yep. you uh, string them all out. Jack's live for the for the cropping with the uh, punch out. The punch out. He knows I like my punch out. I watched him play uh, Super Punch Out blindfolded, and I had a hell of a time watching him do that. It was so much fun. He's really good at those games. Yeah. What would compel you to want to play those blindfolded, though? Uh, he had a cool uh, Boston Bruins hat, and I think he had a lot of drinks in him. And he wanted to play a game with the hat over his eyes. Okay. And I think that's what what, what happened with it. I, yeah. Well, he can, be, he can be punch-out blindfolded. He's done the whole game. Oh, what, what happened to uh, Enchantress's screen here? Shifted on me. Shifted to a new layout, or I uh, did something different. I thought you were supposed to put up Paperboy to have somebody crop your uh, image. Only wow. if you want to send all the viewers away. <laughs> I thought you were going to learn how to speed run that. Uh, only if I lost to you, Buzz. And that, and that didn't oh, happen. Okay. All right, never mind. I mean, you two I, hate I each other. I have, to, I have to pretend that we're friends. Why do you two hate each other? <laughs> uh, this is well, uncomfortable. Just, it's like I'm working a huge on supporter this. Of Dick Shake. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I said I'm a huge supporter of Dig Shake. Yeah. It's like working on a set with Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj right now. That is a reference you know that, that I didn't know I would even make <laughs> or actually understand. But, uh... I don't think I understand it. Uh, it's something to what do with that, American uh, Idol. What is never... that he has there? Uh, I don't, can't see t-shirts. Stradivarius. That's an interesting choice. Is that a metal band? Uh, I thought that was a brand of, uh, wasn't that like a guy who used to make violins back in like the 15th century or something? I think you're thinking of Z Cavarici. No, I'm not. All right. It probably is a metal band too, though. That sounds like a band that, yeah. Let's call ourselves Stradivarius, dude. Totally. So he is from yeah. Canada. He he rocks the the Blue Jays hat, and he rocked a Boston Bruins 
uh, wool, wool hat when he did the blindfold run, you think that'd be a slap in the face to Canada to not root for the Maple Leafs over the Bruins. Yeah, but who wants to vote for, vote for the Maple Leafs is what I was saying. Who wants to root say. for the Bruins? Um, Besides the Zdeno Chara, because he's the best ever. He's a big guy, yeah. He's pretty good. One of my favorite Islanders that they traded away. I didn't know he was ever on, huh? Yeah, the big man. So again, I've only been following hockey closely since like 2008, so don't remember that. So what do we have as possible item locations? Hammer, Spectacle Rock, Maze Island, New Casuto, the Desert, and the Water Tile, and all the palaces. Okay. So this is Master with a short GP. Master with That's a short correct. GP, yes. Who's angry, Larry? Angry, Larry. That's me. That's my new thing. Uh, Jack Miss is ready, so we're going to go here. In a few seconds, I will uh, start the timer as soon as we see them uh, moving. So we have Nubaru, Jerunia, New Casuto, Old Casuto. So who are you rooting for, Dick Shake? You, you want a rematch, probably, right? Uh, I'm... I'm a little scared of both of these players. <laughs> Let's uh, take a look at what the uh, what the seed brings us here to start. A little bit of a, a witch hunt. Looks like some swamp. That's a big surprise. Mito is north. Quite a lot of uh, encounters here. Um, not necessarily the ones you want to see, which is only the grass tile on the on the Western continent, but places you can possibly pick up pea bags. Uh, Enchantress is going to go in. They're both actually going to go into the desert one and pick up the 100.1. Quicker to go into those than the forest ones where you might have to walk through an encounter. Uh, Dig, you prioritize going into all of them when you see them, right? I do, in the early game, go into a bunch of encounters. It kind of depends on my mood, but usually, yeah. So if you have mixed, large, and small, I like going into the forest tiles, even all of them, because a lot of times you'll have a Dyra in there, and that really helps out with experience early. Yeah. So one side of Death Mountain there, it was just a five-tile island, no boots and nowhere else to go. But it put you right on the right on the coast if you got the boots later to then explore the rest of uh, that area. That is possibly Fairy Cave or Parapeta Rapper Cave. We didn't go inside of it on Enchantress's side of the sea. And we got Medicine. Medicine Cave. Dig, you had a little bit of trouble in Medicine Cave earlier. I sure did. I don't even remember what was in there. Was it the boots? It was. Yes, because that was the one that uh, AA unfortunately didn't find until much later. But when you went in, you game overed. And you had yeah, to come back. Was, he it was. was uh, I got wamboozled. There you go. That is Parapeta Rapper Cave, the front side, and that is the other back end of either Parapeta Rapper or Fairy Cave. So we're eliminating possibilities to uh, shake this uh, continent up into two parts. Well, that rock right there does look like it did the job. Eon finds a <clears throat> Madison Cave as well. Did Jack get the item? Yeah, it was a hammer. Okay, thank you. Cool. I'll mark that in a second. I'm just trying to set this up. Now, let's talk about their seeding here. Jackamus is top three, ranked number three. Enchantress mm -hmm. is number 17, but these are rankings as of the beginning of the tournament. Certainly... Enchanters wouldn't be ranked that high uh, currently. Is that correct, Dink? Dink? Uh, I believe so. I haven't checked the standings recently, but I would I would expect her to be close to top ten, if not in the top ten. Yeah, in terms of in terms of not even physical levels that you know SRL would provide us with at at a glance, but just uh, in terms of player and and understanding the game and such like that, uh, definitely a lot better. I believe she even beat the number one ranked person. Oh yeah. Yeah, in this in this tournament. Uh, if you I'm... mean Enos? 
<laughs> I said number one rank, not who should be number one. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so I can I can double burn you on that one. Jack Fair has enough. Jack has the hammer. Uh, that's a uh, pun intended, I guess. And Actually, uh, fine. Looking, Go ahead. Looking at Neon, she's one point behind Buzz Thunder on the rank. <laughs> wow. And Buzz got a bunch of points yesterday on some ridiculous seed. Uh, Jack with the hammer. See what I did there? Goes north and uh, finds Heart Container Cave. I had to say it twice because you guys totally ignored it the first time. <laughs> no. And finds the stupid idiot. Oh, man. I didn't know Buzz was in this game. Wow. No one here likes each other. Jeez. We're just working alongside of each other for, for your benefit. By the way, oh gosh, I, I was gonna try to be friendly, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I actually feel a little bad about that one. <laughs> well, we found the other side of Death Mountain. It is north in this uh, section. Um, there's a there's a grass tile and wow. two palaces. The first one being Palace Two. Again, this is Master Seeds, Master Flag. So, uh, so Buzz, tell us what that was. That was a raft. I'm I'm sorry. A raft. Okay. What was that second uh, palace? That would that be was palace five. five. So two and five are both on the western continent. We're gonna see what what uh, Saria has to offer in terms of spells here. How did she get across the bridge? Does she know Bagu? She took uh, Prap at a Rapper Cave. Oh, okay. Thunder. There's a spell you want to find first. It's probably Fairy. But if you want to find a secondary spell first, uh, Thunder is a good uh, second choice. Yep. It means you don't have to go looking for it later. Yeah, we got a tri-state area going on here. I, I like that. I'm going to use that. <laughs> doesn't uh, make any sense. Unfortunate part. Your face doesn't make any sense. <laughs> unfortunate part of finding Thunder in, in Saria is that your opponent is finding Thunder in Saria. And there's no going to be no complex puzzle solving to uh, to give you a little bit of an advantage. And you're both in the same area. So Eon is in Magic Container Cave. And Jackamus will be shortly. Yeah, so. Trophy, and I believe that uh, Rudo was part of that tri-state area. Yeah, it was right there. So Eon's going to head right back to get the spell. Have we found Shield Town yet? Uh, no. That was our first spell of the game, was, uh, was Thunder. So that's the only one left, because both ends of Saria were up here. And then in terms of item caves, we're still missing our container cave? Our container cave was found, that was the kid. We're missing oh, Trophy right. Cave. Trophy is the only one, so yeah, very quickly finding all the items, well, most of the items. Uh, with Eon not finding the the kid, or the raft, but the raft is right here, she'll find it. Just has to scroll north a little bit above these towns and hope uh, she didn't miss it. I believe uh, she didn't find it, right? I have to uh, she did not find the raft. Okay, so she just has to scroll north a little bit. And hopefully just didn't walk right by the area and didn't see it. Finds fairy though with your uh with your trophy cash in. Again. Good to have your opponents right behind you getting it as well. He was going Jack was going the wrong way, actually, but it looks like he turned around. Maybe he just wanted while he was down there, just wanted to see what else was there. Yeah, take a little peek. Yeah. Well, Jack went through the boulder to get to this area. Eon went through a cave and didn't necessarily get to the side where the, excuse me, the grass tile was, as well as two and five. So here's our shield town. Um, probably going to go to the other half of this uh, area of the continent as well, since she's missing two palaces and the grass tile, because uh, that's a heck of a thing to miss if she decides to take a cave, take a cave back or a bay. Really, just in that part of the map, just a huge congregation of items and towns and palaces. Yeah, it's been fast and furious so far. <laughs> and 
And that is shield. Shield. Might say too fast, too furious. I don't get that. Is an ice cube in that movie? I think so. That's the one where uh, they say goodbye, Felicia, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I got, I got now. I got it, Buzz. Thank you for the actually, explanation. I was, I was referring to Triple X State of the Union, actually. <laughs> The non Vin Diesel triple X, but now I've alienated myself. So we did see Peabag Cave, and there is a hammer block. That's gonna be. Oh, there it is. Guaranteed to be trophy. trophy Cave, based on the rules of the game. Again, zero to two caves can be blocked by a boulder. They can only be caves that contain an item, not caves you pass through. Uh, the four caves that contain a large item, and the one that contains a small item. So. But referred to as Peabag Cave. And uh, Dig said, we already found that, so this was guaranteed to be Trophy Cave Magic Container. Did you guys notice how much it would cost to cast Spell, uh, Fairy? I did not see no. it. No. Um, if they can cast it, then I expect to see them head over to uh, Mido to get downstaffed. It's an up AOA. Did uh, Jack or Eon go in that last palace? Did we see what that last palace was? I did not notice what it was, no. I might have been marking something, or they might not have have one in it. Oh, I, I only saw those two next to each other. I, I didn't see another one. There's one by Shield Town. Yeah, there's one oh, south okay. in that same area. Like, everything's in that area. What it, um, Eon's going back through. This is... Uh, no, this is Magic Container. Uh, Heart Container Cave, my bad. I was going to say, I totally missed uh, the grass tile in the two palaces. But uh, not the cave I thought it was. They look a little bit similar. Grabs the stupid idiot. And we're on our way. Both uh, spell items in this, uh, in this area have been found. So we're not going to be uh, looking at a death mountain to get an item for reflect. Because we already have thunder situation. Uh, Reflect's going to be readily available, guys. Or they have to just find the the uh, medicine on the eastern continent, which it can only really be blocked by boots at this point. Yeah, you see that uh, that desert encounter on the grass tile by the raft spot there. Uh, two two orange diaries three hundred times ago, uh, three hundred experience pieces ago. So hang out in there for a while. Yeah, especially you since that, you have the shield spell. He used that to take magic three, and so now he actually can cast fairy. And there's the grass tile, and there's the draft. So we're playing a game of Explore Hyrule, collect all the items right now. Uh, where does this open up, uh, Dick Shake? At what point? Uh, well, we're about to go to the Eastern Continent, so that'll make things worse. Have to believe we ducked into that, uh, that third palace, and it might have been three or six. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, it probably was anything but one, and that would that's push Jack over over here. And unfortunately, Jack, uh, the only thing he didn't find was that magic container in the trophy cave, which would have yielded him another item here in New Kasudo. It's five the cost. Okay. And just to add to the New Kasudo misery, Jack gets fire. Eon's going across as well, so we probably will find out what that item is. Eon did find everything that's not in Death Mountain. I'm kind of surprised that nobody hopped into a palace, especially Palace 2. Palace 1 is still out there, so if they find that, that'll be nice. Magic container in the seven magic container house or five magic container house not the magic container you normally get there it was one of the three other ones let me point that out before uh people yell at you dick shake i'm defending you here just say thank actually, you actually each magic container is handcrafted every time you make a seed so oh so that's never the case yeah 
Oh my god, that was the dumbest thing I ever heard. But I actually liked it, so... She's just trying to let it go. <laughs> but I actually liked it, so I'll just uh, bite my tongue. What palace was there for, for Jack? That was, that was four. That was... Okay, so four is in the east. So four is also one of the ones that can have a glove, and five on the west could also have a glove. It was orange and south of us, I like they are uh, not going to be killable this time around. There is the water tile. Has the chance to contain the medicine water of life that leads to the reflect spell, a required spell. Uh, cannot narrow that down any more than uh, it being 25% at this point. Jack's Hunter's on a, almost an identical path here. Hey, Jack's looking for those pee bags. Yeah, magic container is that only difference. One 500 point pee, ba pee bag was attack three. Well timed, very fine. Well. Eon's in the desert of love. Jack's passing it. They're basically in the same spot. Virtual wave, hello? Actually, maybe they're not. Yeah, well, they, yeah, they are. It's the color difference threw me off there a little bit. So we got River Devil blocking the road there. Are they going to have to take a cave to get down to the other section? Well, we know one cave, well, we don't know. That one cave could still possibly be a P-Bay cave, I think. But we, we saw a cave in the middle of a mountain. Uh, can that be a P-Bay cave, since it's not essential? It could be. Okay. Sure. So we don't know for sure one cave system leads nowhere, but uh, we have that possibility. We are hoping for that uh, one tournament race that is flute required. So this is the cave that normally leads to the pseudo that Jack is now. Hoping it'll dump them out uh, on the southern part, but there are a lot of caves up on this northern part. So, working. Yeah, Jack taking a lot of damage. Uh, too bad he didn't pick up. Uh... Oh, ouch! <laughs> hey, did um. Is fairy still? I know you said fairy's castable. Is it though? It sure is. For okay, Eon. Eon's now going to get it. Because I was going to say, both players did not get it before they went to the east. I mean, Jack can cast it too. I don't know why he didn't no. grab it before going to it. Just as I start that statement, both players are simultaneously going to get downstab. <laughs> yeah, that would have really helped Jack miss survivability having downstab over there. Because he was taking a lot of unnecessary damage. Yeah, in the dark, the... Uh... Max, the scorpion, or, or any of the other things that you can't see on the ground, uh, you can just bounce off of them with downstab, even if they're invulnerable. Especially if they're invulnerable. You have to time your jumps, worry about Lizalfos' backing up, or the, the red and the blue one that you can't see in those caves. So where do we go now? I don't know uh, where Eon's going. She has everything here. But she's checking this lower left-hand side, the southwestern side of the continent. Um, maybe she didn't find all three palaces. I know she was in two, and I know she was in five, I believe. They were right next to each other. Maybe she didn't uh, find I that know. third one. I, I thought that she missed a... No, she did. Never mind. Yeah, she must Max. be looking for the third. Max definitely going back east. Yeah, he's probably looking for the free items on Maze Island. So the only reason we're going to ask you this is because you're the only person on the panel who's still in the tournament. Otherwise, we'd probably defer the uh, ask some random guy off the street. But what would you be doing right here, Dick Shake, knowing the information you know? I'm going to, honestly. 
Uh, I need to clear it anyway. Got an item in there that I know I can grab, which could be the glove. And as I was corrected on before, you're not glove blocked from the item. You could be jump blocked, but you have fairy. Well, it's quote unquote jump blocked. Uh, it's a hard jump to make. But you have fairies, so you can overcome those odds. And uh, best case scenario is you can clear it all. Item and helmet head. That's exactly what Eon's doing right now. Probably. Hey, Chick, have you have you made that jump? I have not. No. Oh, how about that? Only one of us have. Uh, I definitely have. Uh, where's the video on demand? <laughs> there, there is no video on oh, okay. That's why, why, okay. why would I make that up? I thought so. If I'm trying to impress you... Uh, you are. Yeah, never mind. Jack is really struggling with this cave. Black yeah, you can't, you can't see those spiders. It's really... Some of the game you can play without the candle, but if you can't see shadows and little hints of things here and there, uh, you can just kind of run and jump into a moa's. Even if they're invisible, uh, <laughs> even if the, in a lit, lit situation, uh, if you don't have the cross, they're invisible. But with the the candle, it doesn't matter if they're visible or invisible. They can just run into you. You'll never know. Incredibly fast helmet head in the palace too. Uh, looks like Eon's gonna cash in the gem and then probably go right back in looking for the item. Not necessarily saying this because it's going to factor into the randomizer, but giving a little bit of props at the same time. Eon has done attack one challenge. So. I think that definitely helped her during her race uh, with me. Uh, I, think, I just think it was better decision making. Oh, okay. <laughs> I stand corrected. She did do that. I don't know if she did that race after or before, honestly. But uh, more to the after. more to the serious point is that uh, even if she can't get to attack level seven by placing gems quicker, uh, certainly capable of doing Great Palace Thunderbird at attack level six or even five. Jack's going to be in that same situation though, Dig. What? How does he do, uh, do his leveling? Uh, Jack just grabs a level when he gets it. He doesn't he doesn't plan stuff out very much. I did see him skip one or two at the beginning, but really, he just, if he, if the level thing pops up, he takes it. Very friendly palace, too. I think Helmet we're... head to, directly to the right and items directly to the left. I think we're intentionally dying here for the magic to get the item to cast fairy. Jack's still having a tough time, man. Invisible wow. enemies in, uh, not invisible enemies, but enemies you can't see. Lack of candle coming from the sky and flying around. Got a heart. Jack not gonna give up. Yeah, three wamboozles and he's going back. I actually don't know if that's the plural for wamboozle, but I'll let it go. I think wamboozle. Three wamboozle. No, I think wamboozles would be would be correct. Dig's but a teacher. What what do you say? But it's past tense, so. Well, I'm not an English. It doesn't matter. You're you're smarter than uh, Buzz and I. Well, I don't know. You say so. See, I'm going to give you one, I'm going to take away one. That's how this is going to work. I'm trying to get you to the fight now. When have you given me one, Larry? I gave you a couple weeks ago. I said good game. You guys just keep taking them uh, at my expense. That's fine. I'm sorry, did you hear something? Dig? Uh, no. Let's find some palaces here. Let's find some towns on the eastern continent. I gotta get through a cave first. Yeah. That's to be the challenge. I'm just going to go through a different one. Life 3 is not looking very good. Honestly. It was 3 or 6. Let's see if we go inside and... Uh, nope, we don't. So that leaves one... Four. One. And three or six on the eastern continent. We found four already. Yeah. So. so we're just looking for Maze Island and the other, other palace and the three towns and the desert tile. We found the water tile cannot access it, access it. 
another bad cave for Jack. He's got to go to that one that he game over in with all the spiders and bats. I think that is the unless you find the boots somewhere, like on Death Mountain. I think we're that calling cave. an I think we're calling an audible here. I think we're doing two. Not a bad audible. He won't find what he's looking for there, but he'll get a couple more levels. He gets a heart container, too. It's survivability as well. Yeah. So it's it's progression through the seed and survivability. He doesn't know it, but uh, I think it helps on both accounts right now. And just to do something different after after just not doing what you wanted to be able to do. I think that mentally it helps a little bit. Yeah, definitely something to turn around the momentum, raise your morale a little bit. I might so, find that the magic container while he's up here, too. The magic container being in Trophy Cave that is hammer blocks, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So we know Jack's been everywhere there needs to be to go in the Eastern Continent and has concluded we have to take a cave. Uh, Eon ve spent very little time here. Does she yeah, know that, that, or is she still exploring the whole area? I think she's exploring a little bit, but it's not huge, so okay. she'll find out soon enough if she's got it. Dives into a cave. It's a uh, it's a cave that contains a small item, most likely a pea bag, because there's so many of them on the Eastern Continent. And we're going to go through this one. Jack is going to go find the heart container. Now I want to see if he obeys or if he continues on. He looks like he's just going to continue on, which is good. I'm glad to see this, knowing well, what we know. Well, this is the wrong way, though. I think to get to Helmet Head, don't we just go straight down? Or Yeah, he needs to go straight down. Like when, I, when I said up A, I mean up A and leave and go do something else, oh. rather than up A and go, go the right path. I just wanted to say he's staying in two to complete two. Yeah, this is not the right way to go, though. Yeah, he he bypassed the early helmet head. Play devil gap, devil's advocate here. It leads to a dead end that has a key, and keys are at a premium later in the seed. Uh, it could be helpful later on, but not certainly what he wants to do. They have. I know Dig Shake's going to be like, "You have fairy. It doesn't matter." That is my usual. Fairy right now is costing three and a half at Magic Four. It's costing about uh, you know, fifty something MP at Magic yeah. Four. How how high are they going to go to get that down a little bit? Yeah, they did find uh, the exit of that cave, and then she's in the spot she wants, but she's river blocked now. So Maze Island is there. Yeah, that's that's a really nice little long narrow spot. I thought there was going to be nothing there at all, but it's pretty fortunate that you can get. Island. Well, there's a bridge. There's well. a bridge. A weird maze island. So Jack finds the unfortunate side effect of Master Flags, where keys can be pea bags, and they are shuffled. Now, correct us on something that I brought up during your race, Dig Shake. We do not believe that keys and, and pea bags are shuffled within the same palace, but probably within the palace set. Yeah, it's within okay. uh, 125 and 346. Okay, so there is a chance that all pea bags can appear in Palace 2. It's possible, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, is not how I intended to do it. Right. I, I screwed up. Yeah, no, that's how that's how we described it. And uh, there was a little bit of conversation on how we were wrong in chat. So I just wanted to clear that up with you so we knew what the right answer was. Which makes for some unfortunate uh, so, <laughs> seeds, by the way. But, did uh, Eon game over or up A? What, did she grab an item? What, I'm a little confused. I don't know. I was watching Jack fight uh, Helmet Head. Did not see why she abandoned. Um, all these pass-through caves that you take are giving our runners some trouble, so that might have been a game over. Yeah, that is the, that is the only way to go, though. 
unless you want to go into Death Mountain or Talon 5, which I'm pretty sure neither of you want to do that right now. Best part about knowing what cave goes where is you know what cave to go back to. Game over on Maze Island encounter. We're uh, we're being told. That is very unfortunate. She was uh, making some good progress. Jack is now three four four five. So as we were, were talking about, uh, just taking the levels, pretty much as he gets them. He was attack three, uh, sorry, life five. Life three he was uh, last time he was on the Eastern Continent when he was having all that trouble. And I think he might be grinding now. Say there was a nice spot with uh, two orange Dyras. Were they 300 total or were they 300 each? Yeah, 300, 300 total. But still, early on you get 300 per encounter. That's mm -hmm. really big. And that was grass tile, I believe, but that was in the yeah, southern it's, part. It, it's right where he is, but it's uh, you have to get the uh, the difficult encounter. I think that grass tile is free, if I'm not mistaken. I think he just took a grass tile encounter, and it was a road encounter. I think it was more in the southern part by the raft spot. No, that's that's where he was. That's where he was. Okay, there's the magic container now from Trophy Cave. So Eon makes it back to Maze Island very quickly, but already on her last life, she'll probably. Still, yeah. Palace one. And three or six for Jack. We're gonna find out, I think. No glove, can't find the glove here. Possibly you can still beat it, especially if it's three, but it's not six. It's a little trickier. Gonna take a look around anyway. Kind of seemed like he was grinding there for a minute, so he might be trying to buff his levels a little bit before he goes back. Or no. not sure what he's looking for now. It might be going to five. Yep, yeah, looks like five. Five is huge if it's the glove. But how often does that happen? It virtually <laughs> never happens. I don't, I don't know that he's necessarily going to be hunting for the item either. He's got a lot of easier places to check. It's a nice little pickup in Palace One. Sure is. And uh, for those who are listening in the car, that is the boots for Eon in Palace One. Going to make the Eastern Continent a hell of a lot faster to navigate. And Jack still doesn't know what cave gets him in the right area. So even more of a separation there in terms of possible time versus exploration. Collecting the pee bags, though. Put this dead end puts you at a uh, difficult situation. Six hundred experience points, but you got to backtrack. Not far, from a, not far from an elevator. Okay. So, only two rooms to backtrack. That's my favorite uh, area for the gum a, the doom rattle, is on encounters like that. In rooms like that, I mean. Somebody building a shelf? Building a shelf. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a euphemism. I don't even know. It's a double entendre. It's a play on words. It's a metaphor. No, it's loud sounds we're hearing. And we just want to know if you're all right. Fine, yeah. Okay, good.
So, Eon's going to go through, looking for a key, finds a pea bag. Pea bag's going to take her up to the next level. Magic three? Oh, no magic three. Throw her for a second, she might do it. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. That Prudin the Jack's in right now. It's super slow-mo. Could have been a third one, though. I'm not that impressed. <laughs> And unfortunately, he kills that guy, but dies before, uh, uh, unless the game sees the experience being counted, uh, it still thinks the enemy is alive. How many points are those, uh, polar bear heads? Five. Three. Three. But the point is they're not 20, because we don't play these seeds first and then pre-select them. I just thought they were always 20. Jack at least gets attack four out of this, so even if he finds another dead end up here, not a totally horrible run. He does find a dead end. House one is taking uh, Eon. Good at time. I see what you did there. What's it's taking Eon out? and Eon in Palace One. Don't think you're gonna run that by us just because you realized it was bad when you said it originally. <laughs> for I all your pun, for, my head. for all your pun needs, twitch.tv slash digshake. That's not true, though. It's your chat, though. They're toxic. They do puns all the time. Twitch.tv slash Ron. Horsehead's down. Very easy with attack three, it seemed like. Please slash Ron? Yeah. <laughs> can he get that name? I wonder if he can get that name. Probably taken. I have to make a new account. All three-letter Twitch name. Twitch accounts are on for sale on some website somewhere, I bet. Two gems to one lead right now. Still no glow. Still no reflect. Well, I don't remember seeing either of the items in Maze Island. Uh, I, I don't recall seeing either one either, and I didn't write any of them down. So why is Eon not looking for those free items? That's a good question. Especially since so, uh, one of them... Yeah, one that would be Reflect. Now, before anyone asks, Eon is going to cast Thunder there to deplete magic. So when she refills it, she can cast Fairy in this next room while it's still counting up. And then take the full advantage of the refill. I like the uh, community hint that says press up to enter doors. I saw yeah, that one the other day. That was really good. Favorite of mine as well. Yeah, there's there's a couple of good ones in there. I like the one that says something about Wi-Fi. I think there's one of those. These, uh, these guys sent me a whole bunch more suggestions for those things, but they're all just too bad to <laughs> yeah, one of them. One of those. I'll, I'll take personal accountability for that. One one set was really bad. I felt like I was forced into doing it right then and right there. Uh, spell, spell, spell. Spell is in Darunia. Still no reflect. Jack is darn near full clear in this palace five. He is most of it. There's a desert tile, not the desert tile. We don't have jump, so we can't jump up there and get the uh, whether it's an eon up or a uh, red jar or a uh, pee bag. Mystery remains, and there's another desert tile with a red jar. It's amazing how like easy and free everything was in the western continent then we come to the east and everyone has to work to find the places where there are things it's just like 
It's like two halves of a game. It always seems, it seems to have that characteristic, at least as far as what I know about a randomizer. If you think it's giving you stuff and being easy, eventually it's going to take something away. The Eastern Continent was intentionally designed to be uh, a bit harder to move around. Yeah. With. Item room. Oh no. Well, the the Brutal. good news the good news is at least he should be close to Goom, so we can just get out of this palace go do other stuff. Yeah, no one could see that, but he uh, he definitely said there was one heart container there in that room. <laughs> I think he was showing us what he was hoping to see. Oh yeah, well that's yeah. That's true as well. We're going to get the spell here out of uh, Nubaru. Normally fire, but it's shield. Let's reflect. I'm sorry, reflect. So it's it's a good item. We already had shield. That message gets me every single time I restream because I look at it so quick. Yep, me too. But that is the required spell that we need and we've been looking for. So there's going to be no situation where... It wouldn't matter anyway. Enchantress has the boots, but that's the only potential "quote unquote" trolley block we would have had for the uh, for the necessary spell. So, Neon finds the glove. She's in good shape. Basically. Fight Guma here with life five, attack four, and beefy Guma with a full health bar still. Yeah, beefy. Yeah, it looks like. Took about eight hits before you see anything uh, on the health meter. We don't have his audio up, so I don't know how many hits he's actually getting on Guma. Is it two per cycle because he's pushing him off the edge, or is he yeah. only getting him once because he's too far off the screen for the second stab? You can get two there. Okay. You're... Yeah, I see him flashing now. He's one hit away from death, though. He's got to be careful. There was life in uh, old Kasudo, so. These uh, cheese straps on Guma are fairly safe, but also fairly slow. But with attack four. Oh. Wow. Yeah, he probably only had one or two hits left there. That was brutal. I think Eon is going to Palace 5. Very interesting that ignored the two free items. Yeah, she could also grab one out of New Casuto as well, which I would certainly get before going to House 5. Or, we're quickly going back west to go back east, which looks like it's the case now. Jack, I think oh, a little geez. salty about this Guma fight. And, uh, might be a little on tilt here. Yeah, I was going to say gotta slow down and there's the water tile the first of the free stuff that she can take candle candle is worse than the cross in this uh, iteration of the game not entirely but at this point in time basically well Something we haven't said the dreaded uh, DM word yet, as being the area where the the glove could potentially be the last of the items that we would need to find to fully complete the game, most likely. Uh, Dig the timer's ticking. What do we do? What are our options before we even go in there? Oh man! Oh my gosh! Um. So yeah, Jack is on tilt now. With that Guma fight. Yeah, I have a feeling Jack has been on tilt since the Eastern Continent game overs. To answer your question, Larry, you've got the Kasudo spot. You've got the items on Maze Island. Uh, Palace 4. Which we're in right now for Eon. I think that's about it. Uh, Des tile. Desert Tile. Desert Tile, yeah. Desert tile. And we have the Hammer, so, well, I mean, Spectacle Rock counts as Death Mountain, but, uh, yeah, those uh, five spots right there for the glove, for sure. So what you're saying is, as we find uh, a quick Carrick, 
we explore Maze Island. It's free. Just walk around. Try to find the desert tile. Find the item in four. And then we go to Death Mountain. Uh, and New Casuto. And New Casuto as well. That's what I would do. Okay. Yeah, get the free items first. You know? Unless... You your options before you have to go digging around and uh, wasting time potentially. Eon has the flute. Where did Eon get the flute from? What did I miss there, you guys? Oh, that might have been a Maze Island kit. Could be. He was only exploring Maze Island for a moment, but, uh, yeah, he might have picked it up there. Plunger was on Desert Tile. Okay, thank you. So, takes that out of the oh, equation. We already, we already found Desert Tile. Okay. That Desert Encounter, like, you just, you're in, you jump, you grab the item, you're out the other side. Like, blink of an eye, you miss it. It's so crazy. But Jack is diving into that town, actually. Uh, flip side of the coin, you think um, playing a little bit of uh, catch up? What if the glove is here? Should I go for he, it? He might be feeling like he's behind and he needs to take a gamble to get back to the Wait, what, what's that called? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't get your silly uh, little terms for everything. Uh, never mind then. Wamboozled? Uh, Spreadsheeting. No, uh, Flow charting. Oh, it's Flow the Jack charting. Links? Flow charting. No, no, no. Oh. Mil Milwaukee's best light. Okay. Not the Jack Links? Uh, we did that last race. Okay. Yeah, pay attention. You were listening to us anyway, so you just admit it. <laughs> right, is the game over? Uh, a death in... Uh, Palace 4 for Eon. Let's see how far we can go here through the cave system. Boots were in 1. Jack was never over there. Okay. I just had to clear my mind here to make sure I marked everything correctly. Finding a dead end there on Maze Island. Eon's going to grab a key. Add it to the pile. It was a one cave system to the dead end, so Jack has to backtrack two caves to get anywhere else. Luckily, that second cave was a uh, cave with an elevator, so there's other areas to go out. Find Spectacle Rock here. And the magic key. That's helpful. This is what I said in Yuri's Dig. It's, a, uh, it's the sad consolation prize. It's like for people who really like Riceroni and don't win on Wheel of Fortune. Um, if you find it early, it's super helpful because then you can basically forget about. He does have five palaces left, so Very. we don't have to worry about anything, and we can save. I mean, he's already essentially in the palace. Yeah, just gotta go back and clear out Guma. If if this club isn't in Hammerfield though, for Jack, he's in pretty big trouble. Uh, did we see the item in four? I was just about to ask you. I think we're placing the gem while we have the experience now. And yeah, then maybe we're going to reset lives and come update. back in. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't stab the wall, though. That's a, that's an unfortunate um, Poor form. rookie mistake. Got to stab that wall for at least as long as that counter times up. Or counts up, sorry. These, um, yeah, I'm watching Death Mountain here, and every single time Jack finds an area, it's only one cave out to the other side. He's found a few big chunks. He's actually, I think, seen most of the caves, except for the one. It's actually more unfortunate if you have a large area um, and need to find that special area than it is to find just, like, chunks at a time. Because then you can remember where you've been and then everything else starts to bleed into each other when it's one big area and you keep looping back to that same area and going into the next cave and and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, it can cause people to quit games. <laughs> well, not, let's clarify. Not quit, but go to bed. You had to work in the morning. Well, 
but I think that happened once, yeah. Yeah, we've taken four hours, you know. It was well in your right. You missed the part where Dick Shake came into the chat and said, wow, six hours. That's pretty good, man. You're just learning this game. You should join a tournament. <laughs> exactly. You should join a tournament and go 0 and 2. You're pretty good. Uh, I guess I forgot about that. It is his fault, isn't it? I dislike exactly what Jack did right there, where it's like you knock over Spectacle Rock and it looks like a desert tile, so you just walk right back into it and waste a little bit more time. I wish there was a way to... Uh, yeah, program to, that so that it shows up as something different. Um, respawn the rock. If there's a way. Ah, respawn the rock. He's uh, going backwards? Leaving? If he was leaving, he would probably obey. Unless he's definitely been here before, though. It's not a new area, I don't think. Could be wrong. I'm always surprised to find that encounter. You like never see it. That that like grave or that desert encounter in Death Mountain. Which one? I'm sorry. Which one? It was like a desert encounter on Death Mountain where it's kind of like a, a slanted, uh, you know, slanted ground. It's something really. And I found one where oh. a, uh, a Gariah would spawn directly on top of you every time you hit the. Uh, oh, yes, I know what you mean now. And uh, yeah. Dig Shake's making a little noise. Dig Shake, what's up? We got ourselves a hammer cave. And actually, it's a hard hammer cave to find, uh, potentially. There's only one cave in, so. If this is something big like the glove uh, and queue up the uh milwaukee's best light could be a huge swing for jack i know some people cringe there he just left two pee bags on the ground but don't worry about it bigger picture yeah he's gonna definitely up a after getting this so yeah that would have been wasted anyway i don't think he's gonna get 2100 experience between here and the, the item Eon's having a bit of a tough time there before. Ender yeah, spending a ton of time looking for the item. I haven't been looking closely, and I, I don't think I have the expertise enough. And by the way... Oh, wow. What's up? Ooh, look at that. That is huge. We'll let that one soak in a little while, then I'll finish my thought. That's exactly what he needed. Yeah, and that is absolutely huge. This uh, He's still behind. He's still got some work to do, but that's a, a big step in the right direction. Great decision to go in there. Uh, hopefully we get a chance to ask him if he felt like he was behind and then altered his plan to do that instead of going back to the east. What I was going to say was that Jack had difficulty in Easter content at Life 3. Candle played a part of it. Not having a candle played a part of it. But he was life 3, and he game overed a few times very easily. Eon, life 3, in Palace 4, was dying quite a bit as well before she finally found the heart container. So, and it's, it's also been a while since Jack's been over here, so hopefully he remembers where he needs to go. Oh, well, he doesn't even... Yeah, has to remember where he's been, not where he needs to go, because he never found that. He, he was in yeah, the cave... Really yeah, table. he just uh, he never got through any of the caves, so he, he went a couple. He needs a cave. He went a couple different ones, right, Buzz? And then game over it in yeah. a couple different ones. He yeah, doesn't but exactly he never, know. Never got through. He found one cave, I believe that no, he didn't even find that one cave that went through to that inside area. I think he found that on on Death Mountain just now. Well, we're going to be in five now for uh, for Eon. I'm looking for that middle finger. Yeah, if she's looking for the item, she'll probably take a similar path that Jack did. We'll see. I think Jack full cleared it, and he's actually still got to come back. So. Uh, that might be where Jack's headed now. I'm not sure. He does have much better life levels, but his attack levels are exactly the same as when he was there before, so... Might try to go knock out this palace three or six first, and maybe get another attack level out of the deal. Well, this one being six. Oh, it is six. Yeah, because okay. he found that out when he went through it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So he knows it's six. I don't think uh, 
Eon knows it's six, though. That's exactly what he's going to do. I say I didn't know if he was going to choose to go left there because that's what drove him out of here the first time. He was immediately glove blocked. He's got the magic key now, too, so he should be able to cruise through the main account. Yeah, this might be the swing that he needs here. Wait, it finally stopped snowing. That's nice. You have snow? I'm jealous. Yeah, it looks like about five inches. Do you have to hide in the bathtub if it snows? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. I have to go shovel. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> yeah. It melts. Just leave it alone. Not this week. <laughs> Found the first Rebo here. The one where it uh, passes through. And uh, we find the dead end room that's a dead end, and we know it's a dead end. So Are we're you supposed to check to make sure. I, I think we're over that, both of us. Yeah, I, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> that's. What is this, a month ago? <laughs> yeah. Alice looks very linear so far. A fairy costs next to nothing from what it cost uh, two magic levels ago, or maybe it was three magic levels ago, where it cost up to 50, some high 50s. Barely look like, looks like it costs 20 now. I didn't see the menu. I do like seeing simultaneous Palace 6 versus Palace 5, though. Like, I like that compare and contrast that these two palaces have with the, uh, you know, just the way they can be uh, lined up for you, Dig, and all that. Yeah. Dead end. Eon is also at a dead end. Yeah. Was it a long way to Guma in 5, or was just uh, Jack explored a lot of it first? It wasn't... I don't think it was that far, actually. It's just... Uh very easy to go the wrong direction. So that's another thing we'll have to watch out for, does Jack remember how to get back to Guma? Because I imagine that's where we're going to see him go after he clears this battle. Ah, uh, yeah, he, it's go time for him. He doesn't know where Reflect is, but he's got all the required items to, to do everything he needs. Maybe not the Medicine of Life if it's in Mito, but we know that's not the case. Um, finish the Western Continent and go to the East. Never have to look back, you hope. That, um, Water of Life medicine is on Maze Island, though. Mm hmm. And I have a feeling we'll see Eon make her way back there. To yeah, find most it. likely she's going to go back there before she goes into Death Mountain. She's got the spell spell, too, so. Spell. Uh, country of origin. <laughs> you and him. You're not gonna get that, but that's that's a thing. No. You just put up a great unintentional idea. Mulky's best light spelling bee. What do you mean? Instead of uh, as a sponsor, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write yeah, a letter. They're both, on, they're both on ESPN. I know. Oh, here we go. We found Barba before we found uh, Guma. And just to make sure I have everything, Eon has two heart containers. Two and four. Okay. No jump. Same thing uh, with you, Dig, earlier. You had no jump. You have to just uh, bide your time here. It's going to take a couple extra cycles. Yeah. It's not that difficult. No. And it's pretty safe, too. No matter how aggressive you approach it, you just have to 
you have one thing to watch for. Don't get hit by the fireball. Yeah. So, a couple swings, be patient, jump over, swing again. That was a, hit a yeah, good good experience from uh, from Barbara to get two levels right here. Yeah. We're going to see him head back to Guma with the uh, five, six, six. Where is he going? I don't know. He might want the item. I don't know what the item could possibly be for him. Boots. boots. Yeah, I guess yeah, boots. Yeah, he, uh, maybe he's explored enough that he knows that he probably is going to have another, you know, only one more option to find him. Maybe he knows it's right here. I don't think so. No, I, he, he already he's already been right that turn. way. Yeah, he's yeah. already been that way. He's, he's... And, okay. No, oh. but he's going back oh. in. <laughs> I thought he was leaving, but uh, he might think he's boot blocked if he. I don't know. He never made it through that cave, so. He's definitely not boot blocked. But he. He might think he is. That actually might explain why he went into Death Mountain as well. Uh, he thought he was boot blocked in the Eastern Continent. I'm trying to line it all up right now. Yeah, uh, that, he has not been in four. He doesn't have reflect. Four is the only thing I think he can access without going through that cave. Yeah. And the water water tile, but again, we're, if we're looking for the boots, it wouldn't be there. Which actually, I'd prefer to go search for the item in four than six. But... Uh, even without reflect? Uh, yeah, probably. You gotta get through that cave no matter what. So explain that sprite. A couple of people have asked in chat, and Anti uh, just asked again. That sprite that Jack has is a Iron Knuckle Dark Knight, correct? Yeah, I don't know who made it. I don't think Jack made it. No. But, in, uh, in what universe is that a Iron Knuckle? Like what game? That is what Jack told me it was. So okay, I, I don't, I don't know. It's not. It's kind of Iron Knuckle. -y. Yeah, a little bit. Looks kind of like Shovel Knight a little bit. Oh, that could possibly be a little bit of a... Like the so... dude that cosplays as Robin Hood and says he's Link. Finding another heart container. He heart... has to know now. So if we see him go into four, he definitely thinks he's too blocked. Uh, which is unfortunate for him because he can gain a lot of time in four because he doesn't need the item. Four. That is four heart containers. All four heart containers are in palaces. By the way, I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, it doesn't make sense that he would think that he's boot blocked because he, we've seen him try to go through multiple caves, but didn't really, you know, actually get all the way to the other side. Yeah, he game overed in that one cave. Game overed in three of them. Well, two of them twice, right? And one of them once. One one of them was a troll cave, so he upaid. Okay. It just took him to a dead end. Um, he saw him game over in the correct cave that he needed to go through. He actually had all three lives. Couldn't make it through, because his life level was so low. But he's going to four now. He thinks he needs the boots. So this is really unfortunate wow. for Jack. That explains a lot. That explains why I went to Death Mountain. That explains why he got the item out of six. And, and all that. There. Yeah, and he's going in there without the reflex spell. All the savings that he got from uh, the uh, finding the glove, you can see, are washing away right now. And Eon getting the bad news that the glove is not in Palace 5. Picks up the heart container. Karak. Yep. Easy Karak, but hard to beat Karak without the Reflex spell. I think Larry did that once. I I believe I had to jump over something to go do it. Yeah. <laughs> Karak was somehow in Palace 2. Now, 
even though he is digging the item out of four, he should still find it a lot faster than Eon because of that magic key found on the Death Mountain. That'll make it a much easier trip. Eon had to death abuse a few times. And, like, she had a difficult, difficult time getting that uh, item out of four. Yeah, a little over an hour in. Kind of an interesting race. As soon as we think somebody's gaining ground or doing something, they they kind of make an interesting decision, you know. As far as Eon skipping the a couple of free items and Jackamus getting lucky with the glove and then now just kind of digging himself a hole because he's uh, needlessly searching for the boots. So it's still hard to say where, where our racers are against the, each other. I'd say about yeah. tied still. I I think I would still give Eon the slight edge right now, but Jack's definitely gaining here still, even though he is digging the item out of four. I'd say he's gaining ground quickly. We see another situation where Jack has a little bit of an edge, and this is what you had, one of the things you had in your race earlier as well, Dig. Uh, Jack has the magic key, Eon doesn't, so Eon has to um, find ways to death abuse to cast Fairy. Those uh, polar bears weren't doing it, so now uh, we're going to go to the slower moving bot. That also drains XP, but that's not that's really not an issue. We were stuck between two doors. So the real question will be, what's Jack's reaction going to be when he sees that the boots aren't for? Uh, he might tell us the quantity of flutes he finds again. I think. <laughs> I might take off the hat and do a wipe of the forehead to the back of the head, frustrated, I'm confused kind of thing, if it were me. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard you curse, Larry. I, I don't curse. I'm, I'm very PG-friendly, especially in the AM. Well, here we go. He did find it very quickly, but uh, not going to be happy. Full life, though. Looks very confused. He's actually stunned right now. We're going to take off the hat. Yeah. We're going to flip the hair. No, it doesn't look like we are. Yep. He doesn't know what to do. Like, what did I do? What? Did he, he just turn just... off? Did he just quit? What? He just no. forfeited. No way. Ugh. Oh, seriously? He forfeited while questionably tied. Yeah, I mean, what? he certainly wasn't behind. That is disappointing. Very much so. That was only an hour and six in as well. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe he just needs to blow up some steam. He can he can come back. Uh, not if people are going to be telling him exactly yeah, where he not is. If he, not if he gets any. Yeah. Any uh, answer. Was that you can unforfeit? That's not against the rules. Uh, no, you you can do it. The only questionable part is that he cut his stream. It'd be better off if he did cut his stream so we can see, so we could see what he was doing. But I mean, people have unforfeit before once they once they cool down a little bit. I've seen it happen? Yeah, I think I've seen you do it before, Dig Shake. Uh, did I do that before? Uh, when you, a... yeah, when you accidentally made that save state, but you went back yeah. to a save, yeah. That yeah, wasn't cause... a rage quit, though. No. That was... No, you don't rage just... quit. Not usually, no. You just, you know, it's bedtime sometimes, and you gotta go to bed. Sometimes I do get way too tired. I start something, I'm like, oh, okay. Good not start it. But, uh, Jack seems to have just completely disappeared, so... Alright, so for those who are joining us who don't know what happened, 
Uh, Jack went looking for... He was uh, taking a lot of deaths over in the Eastern Continent, so he, had, he abandoned strategy. He did Palace 2. Palace 2 was a heart container. So, feeling like he was behind, we assume, he jumped into Death Mountain. In Death Mountain, he found the Magic Key in Spectacle Rock and the Glove in Hammer Cave. Spent a little bit of time there, but found two really good items. Got back out of there, decided to do Palace 6, beat Barba, looked for the item, it was a heart container. We feel like he thinks he was boot blocked in the Eastern Continent. Found a heart container in 5, found a heart container in 6, found a heart container in 4. And then when he found that heart container in 4, he looked like he was confused, and then he just turned off the stream. Not that far behind... Enchantress, if at all, because Enchantress doesn't have the glove, needs to go into Death Mountain, doesn't have the magic key, needs to sometimes take death abuses to get through doors. He was missing Reflect, though, at the same time, so he didn't have Reflect or the boots, but that's something he would have just eventually found. Reflect is in Nubaru. It, it's free. He just had to take the right cave in the Eastern Continent to get to all this stuff. It would just have to be all those early game overs that brutal game over to Guma. Um, we just keep finding the wrong item, and uh, apparently it all just built up, and then he re reached a breaking point, apparently. Yeah. Uh, the shocking, the most shocking part of it was he could have easily taken the lead this race. Just needed to go find that cave in the eastern continent, and then he would have been back on track. Yeah, I would have I would have called it a tie at that point. And like you said, Dick, he only went through one of those caves to find a uh, find a block. There were still plenty of other caves he could have gone through, and the one he had the trouble going through would have been the actually, one, one to wind out. I think he actually made it through two, but probably what happened is he there were, there were three of them there, and he made it through two, and he probably mistook the third one for one of the ones. And he took a game over to Guma. Eon took a game over to Guma just now, so yeah. it's ha it's happening on both sides of the coin here. That's Eon's second game over to Guma. Sa oh, second, okay. Life four. Life doesn't seem to be that effective. It's probably on the low side here. Seven magic containers, and life level four. Uh, normally it would be enough in a tournament flags. It seems like there's a point where it kind of gets bumped, and that J Jackness was definitely at that point because uh, he had life six, and he was taking significantly less damage. Uh, but also, you know, he would have had full heart containers, and well, you know, gotta stop saying would have. So he he did type a couple things in chat. Jack did. He said his kid needs him, so that of course is a big priority. Uh, but he. He thinks that he was losing, which is not the case. Yeah, I see that. I mean, uh, hopefully the situation is okay with the kid and all that. And I can certainly understand that. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Well, uh, good news. <laughs> we may have a rematch. Uh, it's certainly looking that way. I did a poll. I did a straw poll in between matches, by the way, and, uh, you had over 50%. I think 56% said Dig Shake was going to win. Uh, against, you know, either the winner of Jackamus and uh, Enchantress of Numbers. Only 50. 56. Is that, is that who they think is going to win or who they want? Who they think is going to win. 56% said Dig Shake. 216% uh, said the winner of Jackamus and uh, Enchantress of Numbers, though. So oh, you, okay. you lost that poll. Yeah. Seems about right. We're in the same situation here where we're, we have to uh, take a death here to get through the doors. Um, this looks yeah. oddly familiar. Got to kill them on their way out, on their way back, so they can respawn in front of you, so you can keep taking deaths. This looks oddly familiar to something I had the other day, where you just stuck between doors and you have enemies that only do a little bit of damage, and you have to constantly burn a life to get through a door, so when you arrive at your destination... You're already down a, down a dude. And um, if uh, tough times are ahead, like a Goomba fight, it could be uh, yeah. could be troubling. We've already seen that twice. So, 
Uh, okay, so Eon does need the finish to win. Just to bring that up, I see that being asked in chat. Yeah, the double forfeit would, I guess, be a rematch, technically, so... I don't like seeing right. that forfeit, though, especially at this late stage of the... Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Bad forfeits. Blair, yesterday, if you didn't forfeit... I know. Uh, I heard. Jake Hopper was, told me. <laughs> he was one room away from Thunderbird, and you were about a minute and a half ahead of him. Yeah, I had to go, which was fine anyway. No, I, but, I understand yeah. you did, but I was like, man, one more minute, and he would have had second place. Had I made it through that chicken jumping on me on the bridge, I probably would have stayed to the end, but uh, I had to go eventually so i just decided at that point in time uh yeah i mean you said that when you joined too that's kind of i i was in the mood for a short one too that's why i chose those flags which really didn't even shorten it that much i agree know. with jake hoper there i don't think that would be allowed either the whole going asleep be back next week and finish um because it'd be a dq as you know says for srl rules but it would also be cutting the stream at some point as well and uh who knows what happens during the cutting a stream uh, yeah. Even though she's the only person playing, you know, it's still not allowed to know what's going on. Come back a, a day later and all of a sudden you go to Death Mountain to find a glove. So wait, if you left your stream up and took a nap and then finished, that's, that's, that's disqualification? That's against Twitch and SRL racing rules. Yeah, oh, Twitch, Twitch says Twitch you can't won't. sleep on stream. Yeah. Okay. You can stream and put people to sleep, but you can't. <laughs> what if you had to go to the store right quick? Uh, if you take a cam, I think you can. Someone named Ice Poseidon does it all the time. You just have to switch to Twitch Mobile and or broadcast it from your phone and just ask stupid questions to everybody you pass in the aisles. And I think it's con cre uh, considered gaming talk show. Well, they, don't mind if you take a, they don't mind if you take a, a, a short break every once in a while. As long as you're not leaving your stream up for eight hours or whatever. Well, well that's, that makes, makes yeah. perfect sense why they would have that rule. Well, that, now we're getting into gray areas here. Can you stream other games during that time? Dark Magician wants to know. Only if it's Parappa the Rapper, I believe. By the way, Dig Shake, do you own a PS4? Uh, I do not. Okay. They just revealed at the, the PlayStation Experience conference that they had. Parappa the Rapper, remastered, anniversary edition. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did we they, we made this a thing. I don't know, but we made this a thing. Or I made this a thing. You guys <laughs> just jumped on. Larry, yeah, Larry definitely made it a thing. I thought Buzz so if they're remastering the that game, does that mean it's just like nothing? There's just like a blank screen? <laughs> I read somewhere that Buzz is the best <laughs> rapid player on Twitch. <laughs> I, I read that yesterday too. I was surprised to read that. I was like, wow, a game that I've never played before. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, she's aware of the situation that she needs to finish. Take your time. Get a level here. Keep dying to Guma. Just take a, take an attack level. Take a go do something else. You're not pressed for time. You don't have to do that palace now. You yeah, know. she does need to find the glove though. And, uh... Yeah, looks she probably going to uh, Maze Island to get those items. Yeah. And that's what I'm really curious about the decision making here: avoiding two free items. I I don't get it. I don't understand any thought process that would cause you to ignore the items on Maze Island. Especially when one was that free. You just had to walk yeah. to it. It's not like you took an encounter on both sides and then that was it. Yeah, but even even Maze Island at its absolute worst should take you less than five minutes. But again, that's that's my strategy. I I want all the free items before I start digging around. All right, so some people are asking about the earlier race dig, so let me fill them in on this while uh, Eon makes her way through Maze Island. Dig Shake did beat uh, AA. The situation was AA missed Medicine Cave, which contained... Um, I forgot what it contained. The hammer? The boots? The boots, right? It was the boots. It contained the boots. And he missed it, and I believe it was like in an hour or an hour and something mark. He, he found it, 
got the boots, but by then it was too late. Dick Shake was already well on his way into Great Palace, or, or there shortly thereafter. And then uh, he decided to play a little bit in, in, in Old Casuto, look at the buildings, uh, play around with the Moas, and then eventually uh, up aid. Uh, not up aid, but eventually uh, forfeited to uh, end the race. Unfortunate situation, he missed it. Realized he missed it, but then decided to go into Death Mountain the same way that that Jack really did here. Um, unfortunately for for Double A, it was a heart container, I believe, that was in Death Mountain. And for uh, for Jack, he found the gloves and the magic container. It was the candle. It was the candle in Death Mountain for uh, for Double A for his time to find the Hammer Cave. So. The soft locked for experience points is fixed. I don't know if it is fixed for Rebo uh, killing a horse is one situation I know of that I've soft locked on. Looks like we're gonna go get the spell item real quick. Still not gonna be the glove. What was the second item, by the way, in Maze Island? Um, it was the medicine. Okay. Yeah. Just gonna for uh video purposes just keep the tracker up to date still ah uh, yes and across too there larry yeah the cross was a long time ago intact. yeah no cross is right now so eon oh was it okay no the death mountain oh cross was there right eon at this point does not know what the item in five is, or did she no, get she, that? She did get that. Okay, I just didn't yeah, check it. Yeah, I think it's a hundred percent Death Mountain right now. It is a hundred percent Death Mountain right now. Yeah. Yeah, if you have a high attack, and I think they have low HP, I think you can kill the horse as it dismounts uh, Rebo, as it ejects Rebo off of it. And uh, when you kill it, it drops a key, but you're still fighting Rebo, the, the iron knuckle portion of it. Once you kill him, another key drops, and that's fine. You get to the second Rebo fight and do the same thing, and then it soft locks. I believe that's the case, right, Tick Shake? Uh, yeah, that would happen... Um... If you kill Rebo, if you do too much damage to Rebo while he's on his horse, then. yeah. But you gotta do it twice. You gotta do both both instances of Rebo. For you have it to, to then... do it to the first instance of Rebo, and then the second one soft locks, no matter what. Oh, no matter what, because it's dropping a third key and it doesn't know how to handle that. Yeah. Okay. Well, it thinks you killed Rebo twice already, even though you really just killed the horse the first time around. And yeah. So once you kill the third Rebo, it's like uh. There aren't supposed to be three of those. <laughs> so it's just like here's a key and just you can't do anything. Does it? I think it drops a key. I don't think it drops the key. Oh no! Okay. Because you can't pick up the key to make the, the start going okay. again. I gotta tell you, when I first started playing this game, that happened to me two times in a row, and then it hasn't happened since. So you kill him off screen? No, you kill him when he's on the horse, but you're doing so much damage to him, and your attack's high and his HP is low, mm -hmm. that that it just. It, I don't know. It's like you killed Rebo, but it dismounts him because that's what happens. And then the horse winds up dying. <laughs> and it drops a key while you're fighting Rebo, and then it drops a second key. Yeah, I see, that can probably only happen on uh, on beginner settings where your attack would be that high and it his also life would be on, that low. It also happened on one hit KO uh, before I broke one hit KO. So I'm just breaking everything. Yeah, how's that shelf going? <laughs> Still not up yet. I need to keep working on it. If you streamed yourself building a shelf, Dick Shake, I would watch it. I'd watch. And probably at least 200 other people. I started writing a, uh, a stand-up comedy routine for open mic night, so it's very cool. Is that uh... Are you using material now? Because I would say go back to the uh, drawing board. <laughs> Why would I use it now, Larry? Uh, that's one. Uh, well, 
you know, you gotta do some market research. I, some. Uh, I stole all my jokes from you, so if I bomb, it's your fault. I really have no jokes. I open up IMDb and I just search a random TV show and list quotes. That's all I do. Uh, let's let's take a look at Eon trying to doing the same thing that Jackamus did, <laughs> falling yeah. right down. Can we fix that, please? Pull up a road, uh, a cone or something. <laughs> that would be awesome. Can you turn that tile into a traffic cone? Uh, when it's broken open. Maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. But uh, as we remember Jack doing, it was a little bit of a hard time finding uh, finding the hammer cave that contains Definitely. contains the glove. By the way, for those who don't know. There's only one way to get there, and I think I remember where it is, but it's also kind of one of those situations where you just gotta wander around blindly until you stumble on it. I'm just thinking about Dick Chick doing stand up now. Yeah. I hope fun. that's true. It's always something I've wanted to do, I, I just need to work up the courage. Well, the rock does yeah. turn into a desert tile when broken, but uh, I complained about it, and then what happened was both runners opened the rock, came back to that area, and both fell down the hole. That's where the whole traffic cone thing comes from. So it is turning into a desert tile. It's just... So Eon actually is going the right way. She's going to come out here, and she needs to take that cave on the left. That is the one that will take her to the next cave. And... He's not going to take it. Oh, it's got to pass through the one to the left. Okay. I can understand this situation because it has the elevator. There are multiple uh, there are multiple exits through here, so you can cover a little bit more ground to search immediate areas. But when it's not this, this situation, she finds three tile island, has the boots, can, can walk off of it. Um, when it's not that situation, you have to go through one cave after the other. That that That's a flaw. In your plan, it's only a good plan if it uh, if it doesn't work, <laughs> if it works, like uh, like taking taking staircases in in level nine in in Legend of Zelda one randomizer or um, going right Buzz Thunder in Great Palace in a full Great Palace. Now, wait a second, was I wrong about that? Maybe it was this cave that she needed to go through. But she just went through the other one. Clearly, my memory is bad. Must be this one. Jay Coper is reminding me to check my miserable fantasy football score. And uh, it has not improved at all, so we're just going to minimize it. Yeah. Oh, the Bears winning? There you go. Uh, I don't think they play this week. No, so which which is really just they... as good as a win for the Bears not playing. They probably do play this week. I have no idea. I just wanted to move the conversation to something else. So Eon's about to pick up this glove. Got three and six and five? Five. I believe. Yeah. Her levels were the same. I think she took the last game over and just left. We were still talking about Jack and uh, other situations there. I was in and out of IRC. But I don't think she beat Guma. I'm yeah, sorry. Once, I'm sorry, once she ahead. finds the glove and... Uh... It's going to be pretty quick yet, right now. Oh, Bears won because they played the Niners. Well, that's right. They did. Hey, three and six. Three and seven. I don't know. You have a chance, though, in that conference. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't watched any football this year. It's going to be Detroit. Yeah, Fred just says uh, she was taking one to two deaths every time. That's because she had a waste of life, too, as well. She has a magic key now. She had to waste that life each time to get through doors to recast Fairy. Yeah, it should be really, yeah. really smooth sailing from here on out. Did she get any levels in between? She did not, right? She just has a magic key now? I didn't see any levels. Five, three, four. I... She did pick up that heart container. Was it a heart container or a magic container? I don't know. Uh, magic container on Maze Island, the medicine on Maze Island, the cross in New Casito, the glove in the magic key in Death Mountain. I know heart containers are all in palaces, so she wouldn't have gotten that when she left five. So 
now she's doing six. Five, three, four is what she had before? Okay, good. Yeah. I didn't see her take a level, but the difference is she's going to have an extra life when she gets there, but she's going to have more than that because she's going to go do Barbara first. Barbara? Barbara. I, listen, dude, live in New York and uh, try to try to say these weird names. It's a hard name to say. Anything with an A or any other letters ending? Just, just vowels in general. Yeah, okay. just like anything. Any letter. Dark Magician is essentially wants to know what it's what it's like to be a Buffalo Bills fan. <laughs> and I can tell you what that's like, Dark Magician. You, it's you, probably you, like being a Bears fan. You wish you go back to the uh, to the Texans after that. I thought you were a Jets fan, Larry. Yeah, last person that said that they got uh, words. they got banned from my channel. I guess I'm banned. Oh, channel. you've been banned. You just haven't been on my channel in like three weeks to find out. Oh wait, you're on it now. Never mind. What happens if you if you're banned and you try to join a channel? Uh, it won't. You can actually still watch. You just can't. You just can't chat. participate in oh, chat. Just yeah. Only you, chat. you can still private message the person too. Uh, yes, I learned that because. I was banned and then immediately unbanned one. Why don't you tell us that story while we wait for... Uh... Uh, everybody, everybody's already heard that story. There might be some dude in the car listening on, uh, you know, <laughs> on 3G or whatever they use now, the kids, that doesn't know. Um, I don't even remember who I was watching. Somebody playing Zelda 1 randomizer, and I said, nice screen scroll, noob, because it was one of the community hints from the game. And he's like, yeah, way to get banned, noob. Just banned me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then I whispered, I was like, hey, man, that was a joke. It's from, like, the comments in the game. And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Please watch my channel. And his name's Choke Me, I Like It. Yeah, that was, well, let's just say that was Choke, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we not have enough to cast Fairy? Magic 3, right? Because that cost is yeah, pretty high. Like it's 50-something still. Yeah, it's almost nothing because Jackmas was at Magic Five, and it was like it seemed like it was only twenty or so. Yeah, it was less than twenty because it was only a bar and a little sliver of an X bar. But I remember when he was casting That's... it before then. That is the right way to go, though, too, isn't it? Through the fairy room. Yeah, I think so. Whoa! Wow! Wow! Somebody just wrote a book. Yeah, no, no. When I I read the first line of it, and it's compelling. I'm gonna read the rest of it. Being a Bills fan, so being a Bills fan is like being a uh, a jazz fan. Wait, I don't know. So while you guys were reading this large paragraph, Jan nailed that uh, that jump across the pit there. Still an easier tile set. I knew you were gonna say that, Larry. Well, I mean, am I wrong? No, you're not. Come at me, bro. That's all I'm saying to you. <laughs> Just wait until we play in the tournament. Yeah, oh. when's that going to happen? I don't know. When are you going to make a triple elimination? And then quadruple um, elimination after that? We we can still make a uh, a double loser bracket, can't we? I think I think we do that every night at around 11 o'clock p.m. <laughs> Eastern. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> Three is very well hidden on the Eastern Continent, I believe. Um, Which is why she didn't go to three first, because six and five are right here. Three is right by uh, the Valley of Death, I believe, on the southern portion near the river. She does have the boots, so she can probably get there easier now. Or could have gotten there easier before. I lost track of where it was, but six is here, five is here. Probably just decided to clean it up. Yeah, faster that way. But in a different order. Yeah, Dark Magician, that's pretty good. I will also, um, as we watch the Barba fight, 
I'll also add to that, it's like every single time you see the cake with the razor in the middle, you're going to be like, this is the time it doesn't have the razor in the middle. Where is Jump? Okay, Jump is um, in Mito with the uh, medicine, which she has. Uh, the candle, J. Coper, was in... Water tile. Water tile, yeah. Oh. Takes a box. So if you find the candle in the water tile, does it not function? I don't know, Buzz. Why don't you tell us? <laughs> I think we ignore stupid questions. I was just trying to make a, the worst possible joke. Well, Dick Shake already made a couple. You're going to have to That's what, go. I was can, trying to match that, honestly. You're going to have to go harder. I remember when it's like, <laughs> Eon's taking an Eon in this palace. I was like, no one laughed then. <laughs> so we talked about this before, I think, when Jack was uh, fighting this fight. Uh, without jump, I mean, it, it's relatively safe. You just have to avoid the fireball and... Uh, Almost like every time it knocks you into the lava. But slow, get a couple of hits, don't push it, and yeah, uh, chip away. Right when you see the jaw move, it's just a, a one jump, and usually a jump right over it. This is something I should know, but I'm going to say it for for the for the sake of conversation. Uh, are there timing differences between Barba's mouth and the fireball, or Barba fully fully coming out of the lava and the fireball, or is it the same time every single time? I think it's the same. Okay. Yeah, I'd say it's, it seems to be the exact same no matter where he is or what he's doing. Raft was um, grass tile. And the, the boots were in Palace 1, which is on the eastern continent on Maze Island. Oh, Dig Shake had you covered. Look at that. Are we going to see a, a Goomba rematch? That's what I was going to ask you, being the resident expert on the panel. Do we go get Goomba here, or do we just, you know, make it easy mode, go do something else first, come back at a higher level? Looks like Goomba is next on the list. Hopefully attack 6 is pretty good. Attack 5 seemed like it was maybe a little worse. I'd say just from all the trouble that we've seen from Guma. I would want to level up a little bit more. We have one more magic level, which... I don't know if we can fire off life now, because we don't have to use Fairy, because we got the magic key. We have one more attack level. Uh, it should be... A, we're going to have one more life going into the fight, so we're going to have one more attempt on top of all that other stuff. It does uh, seem like attack 6. It's pretty good. Going down downloads. Small Goomba with one shot. It also make uh, things a little bit harder. Uh, like going into three, you have a you're a lot less likely to get over that threshold and capitalize on your experience. So that would be another reason to do five afterwards. Uh, but five is right here in the west, so that's probably why you want to go in here first. And uh, somebody is setting their VCR right now. I actually had my mic pause uh, muted for the whole stream, so only you guys heard that. Just checking the uh, missed calls in case I didn't hear with the headset on. Three hundred for blue uh, nut knuckles. Yeah, there's a lot of experience. Magos are five, so. A lot of experience to be had. Not that she really needs it. This well, no. No, not at all. Conversation. You guys don't want to talk to me. That's fine. I'll just keep talking. It's what I do anyway, right? I mean, you basically forced me to be here. I, I did. I twisted everyone's arm. Bus wasn't even know. No one knew they were showing up today, and I'm like, oh, no, you guys are. <laughs> Everyone else said no, you guys are the fifth and sixth, uh, sixth, um, string. 
I thought this was the A team. <laughs> You're thinking of uh, Bob Costas. Bob Costas. Looks like uh, three hits for every two bars. Or no, actually a little bit more. I'm thinking of Vlad McCarran. Yeah, he's got twist. That dude has some good hair, man. Not Vern, but Lon McCarran. No, definitely not Vern. Is Angry Larry secretly Lon McCarran? Uh, I don't think so. That's what the government wants to do. So Guma can be killed. Yes. I've never seen so many consecutive game overs to Guma. That was yeah, quite was a list. <laughs> it's well with people now. Uh, down to Palace 3. Gonna go grab Jump? Yeah, why not? Sure. Not in a hurry. No. Get some insurance. And knowing it's the last spell, it's not like you have to guess between that and spell, spell, spell. Spell like you did. Um, in your seed. Because I think those are the only two that you didn't have, but you had. Similar, you had the kid, I think it was, or, or, or it might have even been the medicine. And you had that choice, but you just passed. Oh, it was the kid, because you went and got upstab. So you didn't scroll yeah. the next screen to get the, the spell that was free for you. You just like, whatever. Yeah. I didn't need it. Jumps, you, you know, you could use jump, get some red jars or something in Great Palace, but it could have also been spell. Useful. Yeah. And you yes. would have wasted your time. So where did you say three was here, Dig? Uh, she's got to go through that cave again because the boots won't let you shortcut around. But as soon as she comes out of the cave, it's directly south of the river. And then um, Valley of Death is right nearby as well. So Now we can see this cave lit up. Just to see where Jack had all the trouble, all the floaty things that you wouldn't see the shadows for, the spiders, the moas. I mean, this in he had didn't have downstab the first attempt, but he had it the second attempt. But still, at life three with five heart containers, whatever he was at the time, um, you can see why he died so many times in that cave. Is there any uh, word on when the race from the from the winners bracket is going to be? Uh, so I'm hoping to do another one of these double headers next week with uh, that race. And then okay. Yeah, I, I yeah I was kind of thinking that they were waiting for this this bracket to catch up a little bit. Yeah, we're down to the uh, final four. The final final four. And, uh, yeah, both players that beat me are still in the race, so I only lose to the best. And sometimes. Well, you only lost to Yunus once. Oh, that's true. Yes, that's true. I didn't know how to freeze. Like, I didn't know exactly what I'm to still, say to make I'm it a zinger. Mad. Yeah, I'm still mad about that race, honestly. The key race? Yeah. It was a, a bit on the strange side having for that long. Would it make you feel better if I said you would have lost anyway? No, it's not true. I wouldn't have. <laughs> hey, remember that seed I played and it was like two hours before either either me or my opponent found the uh, downstep? That was a fun one to watch. Or the other seed where everything was uh, key blocked and I didn't find the magic key? That one wasn't 
Look at me now, though. I can make I can make insane jumps for no reason. As long as the mood is right. Yeah. What jumps are you talking about? Uh, there are things. There's video on demand of it. This clips. Christo Cap has a lot of clips of me doing insane things that no other physical person probably ever wanted to attempt to do. I upstabbed a uh, a, 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 a Mew one time. Not a Mew. Uh, yeah, a Mew. One time. And I believe I'm the first person to ever do that. World record. I don't remember exactly where Rebo is. I kind of feel like he was kind of close, but maybe He's not there. in this direction because that's a dead end. Uh, I well, I. I... <laughs> I'm also thinking the last race because we haven't seen Rebo, but I was just trying to fill the the dead air and the shelf building, whatever was going on. Oh man, that shelf's still pretty good. Is it an IKEA shelf or? Oh no, I, I went out and handcrafted it. I chopped the tree down. A lot of handcrafting going on in your uh, side of the microphone today. Cut the planks. I stained them. Sanded them down. People in chat pointing out that uh, it's very hard to track your way through Death Mountain. Basically, the only thing you can do is remember what caves you have and have not seen. Um, but even then, there's duplicates of some caves, like duplicate layouts, kind of, with different enemy sets, so it can make it tricky to remember. That was my point earlier, was that um, when, when we were talking about, like, small openings and it's just a cave to a cave to a cave as opposed to large openings and like 65 or more percent of the caves are in one open area um i like when there's a mix in between because if there's five caves in that area and i you know i i can recognize what areas i've been to and then when i get to those areas i recognize that i've seen all the caves in that area and then methodically i'll just go in one by one in like a clockwise or whatever and that's what i have to remember is which ones did i go where did i start and which ones did i go in yeah and when i come back out the other side when there's just too many or when it's wide open i lose track of where i'm popping in and out of or where i left off in that clockwise counterclockwise kind of uh motion i try to keep a running total in my head of the different caves that i that I see on Death Mountain. It's hard to remember all of them, but... Yeah, I don't understand how you could know, recognize the caves that well that you could keep track of that. Some of them are hard to recognize without walking into them a little bit, and that's that's what annoys me the most. You can yeah, handle... A lot of those entrances are identical. Well, you can handle it a different way, is you can say, well, which rooms have I not been through? And then, like, you know, kind of, like, just always go through, like, avoid the bridges. And then it comes to a point in time where, all right, I'm going to go through bridges. Avoid the lava pits you have to jump over. Well, now I found the lava pit. I know I haven't gone through them, so let me just try this way now. But e any way you go, just like we, uh, I was saying before with uh, large great palaces and, and level 9 in, in Zelda 1, it's, uh, it's only the right method when it leads you there quicker. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you had to do something different. And, uh, you can't really have, you can't be methodical about that. When I started playing this randomizer, I did map it out a couple times. It is doable, but it takes, it takes way too long. Well, how, how do you easily identify five caves in the same area that encompass a, a everything about a graveyard that makes you shift off the map, off the page where you once started the right, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter where they are. 
you know, but when you map it, it was just you map the area that you're in and what cave leads to which other cave. Okay. You know what I mean? So it, if they're connected, they're connected, but it doesn't matter how they actually are spread out. So it's not like I'm mapping them out exactly where they are. Just kind of like, I know that this cave will take me to this one in this area with these two other caves, you know? It's a lot of shorthand writing. You know yeah, what I mean? That's, what yeah. I mean. Yeah. that's why I mean, you gave it up works, on it. But yeah. Yeah, it takes a while. I, I take a screenshot and, just, and then import it to MS Paint and just try to like put them all together. I put a little bit of a fancy writing on it that says like A, a to Z and just kind of you know put them through. But uh, we're going to take a look at this Death Mountain here. Just just don't go in. Not Death Mountain. Yeah. Cramp I'm house. saying just don't go into Death Mountain. <laughs> don't, just don't, don't, don't do it. Um, well, I mean, we're three rooms in. And we've already seen a room we can drop into, and two paths left untaken so far. So, uh, if this was a race at this point in time, uh, it would be more of a race now. Through all yeah, these it options. Is a short it is a short GP. That is, uh, it's Master Flags with short, short GP. I definitely did forget about that. Still mixed large and small enemies, though. Something I didn't know until recently when someone pointed it out is um, Orange Fockers are zero HP. Yeah, they always have zero. Yeah, I, I never knew that. I just always thought I was a high enough attack level just to like instant kill them. I didn't know that either. I, I don't even try to fight those guys, though. I just run away. The no. orange ones get out of the way. So we wow, so they... Wow. That's kind of helpful, yeah. actually. I mean, the, they aren't in the original game. They took them out. And yeah. so I assume that when they did that, they put it to zero HP. So then when I, the randomizer tries to set plus or minus 50%, well... I never made that connection either. <laughs> uh, I believe we looped. Think so? Looks, yeah, it looks like it. Yep, definitely. This will be the waffle room she was already through with the orange mm -hmm. Fokker that brought up the conversation. Well, that's that's actually a very uh, that's a disadvantage for killing them because now that would have been easily identifiable with both of those uh, birds there. But now that they're not there, oh, now that they're not there, you knew you kill them, killed them. Yeah, there are no empty waffle rooms, so the fact that you saw an empty waffle room should. Be yeah. If there was a bigger Grand Palace and we arrived at this situation, now you don't know where it looped to for those because those are easily, you know, two of the most popular rooms. Uh, we're just gonna we have to go left here, and we are now, and then we have to go left through this next room as well. There are no empty waffle rooms. Uh, no. no. There's Moas that you may not see because you have to yeah, cross. Yeah, I'm saying yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Thanks, Fred. And we are in the, um, well, this is the Jackamus room. It's a room where he took another direction after game overing later on in the palace, and that helped him win his uh, match against DH, I think it was, that one time. It was a ma This is a match that was uh, between two people that had rooms named after him because of decisions they made during the tournament. Eon's room being the drop room in the high collapsible bridge with the drop in the middle. Uh, she decided to take it. Her opponent went right, and she wound up winning by uh, mere seconds, I believe. Yeah, I think it's like about 20 seconds. There's not many seconds. Is there a Larry room? There are many Larry rooms, but they probably all are, are bad and have nothing to do with the tournament and are just... Um, Probably rooms where I've done outrageous stuff in because I am awesome at this game. Yeah, I would do the, uh, I would call the Palace 2 room the Larry room. People call any room with polar bears in it the Larry room, though, and I don't like that. So, <laughs> I'm going to continue to go right here. We got a little, uh, little bit of a theater room. Chicken, a Moa. Watch out for boss bots.
That, I don't think that's... Well, I, it can be mixed, small, and large anyway, so... Don't mind me. But here is Thunderbird. Plenty of magic, plenty of health, plenty of levels, plenty of lives. Uh, this one should be no trouble, right, Dig? Uh, shouldn't be, no. Should be a piece of cake. You can keep them in that pattern. And we'll see how far Dark Link is. We got it. Do we have any paths that we haven't hit? Yeah, left in the Jackamus room is the oh, only okay. thing that uh, I, I feel like we haven't seen. So possible that he's in the next room, but yep. somewhat unlikely. As long as there's a path left behind that we haven't taken, he's always a possibility to be in the very next room or very shortly thereafter. That room could have also been the, the one-up dead-end room, and then therefore every room is therefore available afterwards. How many hits at 7? Well, it depends on how good attack 7 is, Dark Edition. The, with these flags, attack 7 could be really good or really bad. It seems to be roughly normal. Well, in this room, we don't have to... I'm sorry, go ahead, Buzz. I was just saying, I thought it was like 13 every time. At least that's what it seems like to me. In this room, we don't have to worry about dropping into a room we've already visited because it is the only option after Thunderbird Dark Link still has to be after Thunderbird in the Short and Great Palace. And there is a drop room before Thunderbird, so at least one that we know of. So Eon has to be careful of taking drop rooms if she has a choice to do something else. Find an elevator down here. Maybe lead us back on the path to the right. Uh, T-Bird's HP is always the same from what I know. That's correct. It's only your attack levels and your attack efficiency that changes that fight. And Thunderbird has the same amount of uh, hit points as a bot, correct? Uh, bubble. Bubble. But bots too, right? Bots? I one hit bots, I don't know about you. No, never mind. Yeah, it's a bubble. I don't know why I said that. Maybe you're just trying out your comedy routine? No, that was not even funny. I laughed. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing one of you two said that made me laugh today. Did you know that uh, blue levers uh, oh, it is. bombs? <laughs> That's unfortunate right there. One more life left here to get through this fun room and beyond. Blue levers drop bombs, and the cross is required to open the gate in Great Grand Palace. We, yeah, bo we both we both make our mistakes, you know. I'm not perfect. Except now you're up on me two to one in dumb comments, but I'll, I'll make up for that. Just let me talk long enough. So one more theater room here, and then we're gonna go right one more time. We're hoping for Dark Link. Very linear after Thunderbird, though, with the one dead end and then a straightforward path after. The Rainbow Coalition of uh, Bird Knights there. What a room. Another fun room. The easier fun one, room. I believe. Yeah, it can't be as bad as that last one. That last one. God, fun. fun rooms. How many fun rooms are there in a large Grand Palace? Because it seems like there's 20. I think there's six, but I could be wrong. Yeah. And there might be six of these rooms as well, because wherever there's a fun room, there's a chicken and waffle room. Yeah, that's seed from yesterday morning. I think you had to go past five of those fun rooms. Oh, the morning. I don't think I played the morning one. No, you did. Oh, did I? Oh, that's one where I barely beat you by a couple seconds? Uh, no, you beat me by a while. Is it? It is not. Buzz. Oh. Short and Grand Palace even has plenty of fun. Yeah. Oh, this is uh, spicy. All right. Oh. oh, no. Oh, got it. Monkey Toad and, and was able to get the uh, fairy cast off. 
And now we have an option, left or right. We'll just go right, because this is guaranteed 100% Dark Link. And I, I, I Dark Link is code for Fairy Room, which explore, uh, which opens up two more options. The one room where casting fire is acceptable. And yet another option. So now we have three options left behind. Certainly any right turn is going to be Dark Link at this point. You would hope so. Dead end, we have to go left through the fairy room, left here, or up? Probably check up first, yeah. Up, it'll be up to a right turn, then, yeah. then to Dark Link. How many of those dead end rooms have we seen? Two. There's three of those. So, one of those is still out there somewhere. Do they all exist when rooms get taken out, or do they... I guess they all yes. have to still exist, right? Yes, they do. Downstab room. This is a rare room in the short gray palace. Uh, we've seen this one twice already. Have we not? Not on this seat. Last seat. Oh, and that's a game over. Brutal. Mm, I thought she went through it earlier, and we're gonna, gonna find that out. I think she went through one of them... I could be wrong. Forget it. Uh, you might be right. If she goes left it's here and then goes down think. and goes right once, I believe that's another downstab or upstab downstab room. There are so only two of them. I think I think we saw both of them. Watching two races in a row kind of all just gets jumbled, at least in my brain. She could have got the fairy. I think it only would have been like less than a heart. But I, I think a decision was made, and we'd have to ask her. It was just like, well, you feel like Dark Link is just going to be in the next room anyway, and just get it over with. It'll be interesting to see if she goes that same route this time, or if she tries to pick some of those left along the way. It looks like I'm either wrong about the downstab upstab room or it was on the loop path but I, i'm possibly wrong you're never wrong larry uh, I, can, I can admit when i'm wrong every once in a while it happens uh for sure she wasn't under half half health and i'm pretty sure she was if not like just one bar of health gone when she was at the ferry, walking towards the ferry, and then left. This is an unfortunate situation here. Could go left here. Well, right is the dead end. Yeah. Oh, correct. Uh, this is a, one of the few times I'm not mapping this out. It's uh, that's, that's proving to myself why I mapped this out because <laughs> at the eleventh fun room, there's an option to go left, but not before. Could be. I don't know. I don't mark the room itself. I just draw a little bit of line. We should compare our maps. <laughs> That really sounds something that's like going to make me really uncomfortable to do. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Is that a, a toy right there? I, I I don't know, Dig, but um, I need an adult. <laughs> going to say no, that's go and tell on that one, and just change the topic to be we are in the theater room here. This is what I was thinking of when that chicken jumped at her instantly. Yeah, burying through this. No shame, but cast some life. You're, you're about dead. Oh, okay. has the life spell too? Yeah, we're not using it. Has she cast it once yet? I've seen her cast it. It's actually really good. I think it gets you at least four bars. So the fun room would be this one with the collapsible bridge. Um, when it mostly has things flying at you, a couple chickens blocking the bridge, and and, and all that. The chicken and waffle rooms have been relatively easy in the seed, right? Yeah, there haven't been uh, many foxes in those rooms. 
Did we have one yesterday in that, um, the one I had to leave on that had six Fakas in one room? I think it was five. And then, like, a, something in the mid. Well, one of them was in the middle. It was a rope. It was a rope in five. Okay. Yeah. Were they all yeah. blue? Uh, no. The blue ones, I think you were able to handle with the sword. The other you ones. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, you definitely needed. Well, you didn't need jump, but I wouldn't want to do that room without jump. I didn't have jump, but what I did is I thundered. I killed the first half. I died. And I thundered, it's thundered the second half, and that's why I had, like, no lives. So she is going to go back to that room that she came over to in the one. Yeah, I think that was the room directly before Thunderbird. Yeah, because the first path she has is a left through this room and then left through the other room where she came down the elevator. Up is where she gamed over, up to the right and then down. But to the left also, below the fairy room, was also another option, so... Some people do, and you know, I think said this as well earlier, um, when he was streaming. Just use shield, Buzz. You you rely on that as well. Shield yeah. every room if it's cost effective. I'm a huge advocate because usually by the time you get here, um, it's going to cost twenty or less. So that really helps you survive. I cast it every single room. Thunder. Is also nice for knocking out a bunch of bunch of dudes stuck in uh, stuck in the waffle, stuck in the honeycomb. Uh, there's many ways you can play this. Play it. It's still kind uh, of expensive, though. Yeah. Yeah. At, at this point, it's not a bad cast because the, there can't be much palace left. Unless you have to backtrack, because there is one more dead end room left, or a drop room that can take you back to before Thunderbird, because there's two places to drop before Thunderbird, as far as we know. There's also a path left unexplored. And, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Here's one of them. Oh, jeez. Now, we haven't seen the two rooms with the T-blocks as well. But... Yeah, so we'll, we'll know if we've been backtracked. We haven't seen this room. We haven't seen that. No. And yet another chicken and waffle room. Nothing there. But uh, certainly things here. <laughs> Are we sure this is a uh, short GP is on? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Eon made yeah, the flags. I think it is. I mean, short GP can still be. It's still going to be larger than plus five in all cases. So. All right. This looks. This looks like Dark Link in the next room. It could be it could be the last drop room and loop her back to the beginning. Uh, last drop room to the right. There's two more drop rooms. There's a drop room, oh, there's okay. the Eon room, and then there's the blocks on the floor that you can go to by going left, I think, That's right. also. That's right, yeah. But we're in the Jackamus room. Oh. So wow. this loops all the way back to that... F all the way back before, or before Thunderbird, essentially, right now. Yeah. Might as well get your lives back. Jeez. Gotta start taking some lefts. Now, what I said before, if this was still a race, it's a race. Well, it's a race, you know. Boots, no boots. Glove, no glove. Uh, this could have been a enter, de enter Great Palace 10 minutes behind and still make up time and win the, in the race kind of seat. We haven't seen yeah. many of them in short and Great Palaces, but it had potential. There are no blocks on that side of that room. Just on the right side of the elevator. We have the left before fairy room and we have the left below fairy room as well. So there's two of them. Oh, those are only two options. <laughs> those are the only two options because that other path she took was uh, linked back to the path unseen before Thunderbird. So we've seen everything before Thunderbird now. Mm -hmm. Now we got to see what's in the other two branches after Thunderbird. Uh, two of them contain drops to places before Thunderbird as well. <laughs> so I bet one of the remaining drops is going to drop you in that uh, T-room. 
which will be right next to the dark. Yes. So which one is it? Because the other one's going to take you all the way back to the very beginning of the tower, right? So does one of these rooms with nothing above it not have a drop into it? Maybe the one with the elevator doesn't have a drop to it? If there's an elevator in the room, yeah, you can't drop okay. it. Okay, so that takes out both... Alright, so that takes out both of these. Which drop rooms have we seen? We've seen the one that goes left, we've seen uh, the one that goes left and right. We haven't seen the two ones that have the T, and we haven't seen the... Uh, we haven't seen the two ones that potentially oh, contain so the jars. Two of them that have a, yeah. Two of them that have a few. Okay. Right, because one has the jar. One, one has the jar and an enemy, and one has no jar, no enemy. And uh, we haven't seen the small, okay. the blocks lining the floor, the one-way room, the lower half of that room, the lower decker. And we haven't seen uh, the enchantress of numbers room either. So taking a drop when she finds it is the right, is the right move no matter what, really. All right, so Unless it's not, there, <laughs> you know, hey, there's still a path. Is there a total of five rooms that you could drop into then? Four. It's four. I, I miscounted earlier. Yeah, there there's two of them with the blocks you have to break away uh, that you kind of yeah. have to avoid chickens from. There's one that has the blocks that line the floor, the lower decker, and then yeah. there's the Enchantress of Numbers room. No, I said drops that you could fall into. Yeah, so there's two. Oh, four into, yeah. Yeah, there's four of those as well. That's why you. Yeah. Go ahead, Dick. I'm sorry. Two tea rooms, and then there's the uh, the L room that makes you exit left, and then the room that you can exit to the left or the right. Okay, so those open rooms with the open top, there's only one of those that you can possibly fall into. Right, because there's a couple of them that have the elevator, and those you can't do. Yeah, they look kind of the same, but you can tell by the pillars and the enemy sets in the room which one is which without having to look at the other. The yeah. pillars in the one that you drop into are, I think, a little bit shorter than the ones. Where is it taller? Which one? Uh, but they're different heights in those two rooms, so you can actually tell. And those rooms have a left and a right also, or just a left and an elevator? Well, there's... The one you fall into has a left and a right. Right, but I mean the fake ones, the ones that look like you can fall into but don't actually fall into. Yeah, they have a left and an elevator. Okay, so it's only the one that has the left and the right with the open top that you can fall into. That's, so that, that's yeah. very helpful for for mapping and knowing if you oh. fell and don't went back. <laughs> there's, the, uh, there's the Eon Up situation I talked about before. So now we only have one path to go, below the fairy room and to the left. 100%, 100%, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Doesn't look like a full flare to me. It could be even such that she uh, goes to the left, drops, and then finds the Eon room and then has to take another drop. Uh, yeah, because that other room wouldn't exist on the other side of the Eon room. Oh. Sorry about that. Jump scare. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was my dog. Yeah. Being a jerk. Dog doesn't like the shelf. There he is. So here's one of the uh, the drop rooms. Actually, I'm sorry. That room does can exist on the other side. I was getting them confused. Okay. So dark link in the next room. Uh, no, we got to find the other drop room. I think the on room in the next room. And then okay. So yeah, since we've seen everything else, we do have to see this one. Yeah. I got so you. A, the last dead end, dead end number three, is on the other side of this room. Oh, yeah, and just cast fairy. Okay. And then dark links down the hole. Yeah. So the hole wow. will be in the the tea room that has the uh, the enemy and the possibility for a jar, and then dark link will be guaranteed one hundred percent or your money back to the right. So this is the worst short grade palace you you can have probably. We've seen the the greatest. Uh, Large palace, greatest short palace, and then the the largest short palace now. Yeah, it was pretty pretty bad for a short one. On uh, casting fire. Always. It does double damage to Dark Link. <laughs> I 
Uh, Jay Coper, you're guaranteed to see every drop room, even in the Short and Great Palace. So knowing that we haven't seen one of the drop rooms, it couldn't have been Dark Link. It had to be the other drop room or any other rooms that were left over. That's why it yeah, couldn't have been. If there had been an unexplored path, then you could have looped through the drop room, but since we knew that there weren't any other ways to go... Uh, are there any more drop rooms in a full Great Palace, or the drop rooms are always the same? Drop rooms are always the same. Yeah, they don't get randomized, and they don't get removed. These are all very good tips that I should probably commit to memory. Well, just forget them, because we don't want you to win. <laughs> well, that would that probably would have saved me like a half hour uh, yesterday alone, if I knew those things. You probably would have beat Dick Shake if he explained this stuff to you earlier on. Um, I don't know about that. If, if I found Palace 1, I might have beaten Dick Shake. And uh, uh, Enchantress is here. Yeah. Hello, thanks. That was a ridiculous seed, and I think I played kind of poorly, so I'm not too happy with how I did. Oh, yeah, but uh, the pressure was off early on, so. That's true. I let, it's, um, it's hard to say, you know, I how you would have fared. With, uh, Guma, though. Uh, yeah, he did the same thing to Jackamus also. he uh, I think we saw five, a total of five game overs to Guma between the was, two of you. Yeah, wow. Yeah, and then the uh, the glove being in Death Mountain, I mean, I full cleared the game, I think, so <laughs> with the exception of the Palace 3 and 6 items. Yeah. Uh, 3 was a magic container, I guess. I don't know if there was, no, there was think... nothing else left. Magic container and a heart container was in uh, 5. Six. Yeah. six. Oh, sorry, six. Yeah, Hard Container was in every palace except for one and three. I guess right. it's the easier thing to say. <laughs> but yeah. uh, so, what do you think? What do you think you did struggle with here? As you, uh, as, as the fans get what they want, there is a rematch coming up between you and and Dig Shake. Um, what kind of things do you think went wrong for you, and what do you kind of want to do better in your next race? Uh, I mean, I guess there were some places I probably should have upaid sooner. Um, I definitely need to practice uh, Guma with low levels, so I gotta get there with like a um, do like a one eight one run or something like that, where I've got low lo low attack and low life, and try to just uh, take care of him that way. But um, that was the big thing. That Great Palace, even though it was a short Great Palace, did not feel like a short Great Palace. No, it wasn't. It was it was really big for a short day pass. So, um, otherwise, I mean, I think I think most of the decisions I made were, I, I don't, I guess I'd have to analyze a little better to see if I think I made any big mistakes. The, the main one that stands out is just spending all that time into Palace Five after I game over the first time. I should have gone and in, in search of the glove, but I just got a little stubborn. So. We were wondering why you didn't uh, get the two items on Maze Island sooner. Um, I when I was there initially, I was kind of low level and stuff, and so and I didn't have the boots. Um, and so I think I took a game over in Maze Island, and so then I decided not to go back until I had the boots. That's right. You did game over in Maze Island when we kind of, kind of, we we blinked, we missed it, and then we kind of questioned if you up aid to go back to the west, or uh, someone said you didn't did game over on an encounter in Maze Island. Um, this gets brought up a lot uh, from me, who I intermediate level player is when is your decision to go in, into Death Mountain? So. Um... If I find a Death Mountain entrance, I will pop in and check to try to find Hammer Cave or Skeptical Rock if I've got the hammer. Um, if I otherwise, um, I don't go into Death Mountain unless I'm pretty sure I need to. So, so and that's that was the case here. It was everything else, and then it was well, it's got to be in Death Mountain because there's no other available options for you. Does it annoy you? When you go to Skeptical Rock, as you say, get the item, come back out, and then revisit that part of Death Mountain later on 
without exiting Death Mountain and fall in the hole? Yeah, that was... I I just was shaking my head when I did that, kind of laughing to myself. That Follow-up was... question. Do you hate when people put Wilson heads on the screen as you race? <laughs> I was laughing pretty hard when I saw Dick Shake do that. I got to admit. So they're both yeah, Dick was... Shake's fault. We can admit to that. <laughs> Larry is out to get me today. You're just trying to create a rivalry where one already exists. I'm just trying to get it going. A rivalry between me and you? Because that's, that's where it's I'll headed. fight everyone right now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I listen, it was an unfortunate situation that Jack had a forfeit. Um, right. Realistically, after that was made, you attempted Guma a couple of times, game over. If the race was still on and the pressure was still on, would you have gone back to Guma? Or would you have done the same thing, exit out, maybe go to six or, or whatever you did? That's a good question. Um, at that point, I felt like I was really far behind when I saw Jack forfeit. So um, I pro I think I probably would have left to get everything because if I'm behind, I'm just getting more behind by banging my head against the wall against Guma. So got to do something to keep advancing. He was actually really close when quit and I'm sure neither of you knew that at the time but uh, yeah. I would have put you slightly ahead but Jack was gaining on you fast when he decided to fork it. Gotcha. Yeah because he uh, he got that glove early um, you know knowing that you're most likely going to avoid Death Mountain at all costs but he did it for the wrong reasons which is yeah I think part of what led to his uh, Mike Mattisau blow up. And we do hope that everything is okay with the he had to take care of his son, I think, uh, or the son needed him. So we do hope hope that was part of the problem. Uh, he he definitely did feel like he. I mean, he took a lot of game overs in the Eastern Continent, trying to find that magical cave that you found early when you were there to bring you over to the other side to get all the things over there or most of the things. Uh, then he game overed a couple times to Guma. And then he went into, um, I don't know where he went into, I think it was four maybe, and found uh, five and found the heart container. And then I guess decided to take a, a Death Mountain chance, like Buzz just said, found the glove, found the magic key, and then went into four, found the heart container, and that's when he believed that, uh, that's when he uh, he ended the, the, the stream. Um, but I think you were only one gem up at the time, and... Uh, you know, casual player. Not after that. That great palace was uh, was tough. Yeah, that was. Uh, and once I found that big loop all the way back to the beginning after Thunderbird, uh, I was really not happy. I was, I was cursing then. <laughs> yeah, that great palace was uh, very challenging. I don't think I've ever even played a seed. That I, I know people say I 100% a great palace all the time when they when they make their comments and their little uh, IRC uh, thing, but uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a seed where somebody actually did 100% all the rooms. Uh, I think I got pretty close. I don't know if I got all of them. You got all of them. <laughs> yeah, you got all of them. The only unexplored paths that you had were loops back to those paths in the other direction. Gotcha. Yeah, you got all of them. So. <laughs> So I mean, we wanted you to see. We want, at that point in time, I wanted you to go back into one and three. I'm sorry, into three and six to get the other items, but I think you wanted <laughs> to the, finish anyway. Do the full 100 percent at that point. <laughs> listen, teach these people a lesson that say 100 percent or throw out the word troll all the time. Just be like, hey, listen, I actually really 100 percented everything. Gosh, 100 per like doing a 100 percent randomized race would be terrible. <laughs> Uh, we're going to disqualify Dick Shake because he didn't get all the keys in his last race, by the way. <laughs> I hate keys. I hate picking up keys. Yeah. Well, congrats on your win, Dick Shake, by the way. I look forward to our rematch. I, yeah. I fear I might not fare quite so well this time. Well, we'll see. I'm I'm nervous, actually, about the rematch. So. You guys want to do it right now? Uh, no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I need, I need time to get mentally prepared for that. Me too. So let's talk playlist. What are you going to put on the iPod, the iPhone, whatever you kids use nowadays, and put in the earbuds, and what are you going to listen to to pump yourself up for this rematch that's coming up? 
Uh, yeah, the uh, question's coming from Angry Larry. I think the correct answer is Spice Girls. That that you win. You get my vote. That's it. You're done. You're on to the next round. Congratulations. <laughs> Dick Shake is eliminated. Dick Shake. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say Alanis Morissette. But... That's actually a good choice too. It's like you 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 seen all the posters in my room when I was thirty four years old. <laughs> there was a Jewel one up too, if you want to mention Jewel, because it was a nice okay. Rolling Stone cover. But go ahead. I think Buzz had a question. No, no, not at all. No, I felt like I cut you off like eight times. So I thought you That's did. That's all right. That's all right. But yeah, congratulations both of you for moving on. <laughs> to the next uh next round possibly next uh next week right uh, the match hopefully next hopefully next weekend i need to get with the uh, you know some error i would like to do another double header like we did today um, that would next be weekend pretty awesome so either saturday or sunday not sure which which day yet but we'll get all that coordinated and make sure everybody knows chat's already saying that eon wins by two hours is the vegas line <laughs> <laughs> wow not a lot of confidence in my it was the whole thing. Wilson thing like the crowds like they're against you right now they're they're triggered they they want to see the evil empire that is Dig Shake come crashing to the ground I mean not even calling a close win for Eon but winning by two hours I that think two hours is giving you the benefit of the doubt <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true that that uh, you know finishing finishing a seed in about four or five hours that's a, that's a good time. You should definitely keep going. <laughs> you should join a tournament oh, if you do things gosh. like that. <laughs> Ouch! The car salesman, man. The car, and the best part about it is is talking to other people. Be like, hey, he did that to me too. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been duped. I know, I right? Just want people to play play the game. Have fun. It's a it's it's a good game. We look forward to the rest of the tournament. We look forward to the updates. And uh, thanks for for joining us. And uh, good luck to you guys. Yeah, yeah thanks. Thanks, a lot. thanks for restreaming. thanks for the restream and the commentary. And look forward to our race uh, next weekend. Awesome, Buzz, and I guess Dick Shake. Anything? Uh, anything else here? Uh, I got to sneeze, and I can't tell which one I want to mute. 